Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is a gorgeous day, early March. Today, I'm going to do a bit of a comparison video. I've got two Trangiers here, they're the copies, Lixada Trangiers. <coughs> and we're going to do a comparison video. We're going to have methylated spirits in one and bioethanol in the other one. <coughs> I'm going to put equal amounts of fuel in and see how long they burn for. And the methylated spirits is watered down with 10% water to reduce sitting mainly but it does give a slightly longer burn time. So let's get this uh, set up Feel the stoves and get them burning. Right, so. 20 mils of meth into that one. Bioethanol into that one. Let's do the flammables up and move them out of the way. Set the timer up on my phone. All right, we'll get them lit and then start the timer. Well, it may be sunny, but it's actually pretty cold, so they're hard to light. I've made a couple of wicks. And then both are light now. Let's start the timer. Seems to be flaring out a lot quicker. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. Well, then we'll leave them burning and come back see which one burns the longest. Ok, 
came out to film this because there wasn't much wind. It's only a breeze, but uh, it is affecting them. We're just coming up for five minutes. And looking in them, the bioethanol is nearly at the bottom of the stove, but the meth's still got plenty in. But the bioethanol definitely flared up and bloomed quicker. There's a lot bigger flame. The methylated spirit is more of a blue flame when the wind dies down. It took a while to bloom, as I say, compared to the bioethanol. We'll see how it goes. Right, we're at 6 minutes 45 seconds. The bioethanol is definitely dying down now. And the methylated spirits is still going strong. That's it, the bioethanol's just gone out. Remember, this only hasn't gone out, it's burning the wick off now. Remember, it's only 20 millilitres of fuel in each. It's just a comparison to see the difference and how long they last. The methylated spirit is still going quite strong. It's 7 minutes and 15 seconds. That one's extinguished. We'll see how long that, how much longer that one burns for. Alright, we're at 9 minutes 20 seconds and the methylated spirits is still going. So that's already 3 minutes 15 seconds longer than the bioethanol. Right, I can see the bottom of the pan is now drying up. We still have a flame and we're on 11 minutes 5 seconds. It is starting to die down now. Hasn't started burning the wick I made. Right now it's died right down now. So 11 minutes 20 seconds. Now that is a hell of a difference. That's six minutes more, no five minutes more than the bioethanol. Um, again, it was only 20, meter, 20 millilitres of fuel in each. So that's pretty much answered a question, what would I take out with me? Would I take the bioethanol, which I've got quite a bit of, or the methylated spirits? And it's going to have to be the methylated spirits. It's quite a long burn time on 20 millilitres. Well, that's just the quick comparison video. Hope this helps some of you. Tell me what you use in the comments below, whether you use bioethanol or methylated spirits. I wonder if you can mix them so you get a balance of the two. The bioethanol definitely gave a bigger flame. It definitely burnt a lot fiercer, but that's not to say it gave off more heat. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, I'll be making more videos. Um, Next video I'm going to make a comparison of all the stoves I own. I've got a couple of wood burning stoves, a bush box, a pellet stove, the Trangiers. Um, no gas, I don't use gas. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>